hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how you can create flashcards using canva and these flashcards are perfect for you if you're looking for a way to teach um, students or even your own child so starting off i am clicking on create a design then i am clicking on custom dimensions i am going to make it three by five let me change the px to inch so we're going to make this three inches in width and five inches in height then clicking on create a new design so this is what it's looking like at the moment I think I'm going to resize it because when I think about the words that I will have to write for each of these fruits, for the different fruits, it may not hold on just this width going across. So I'm going to resize it by clicking on the resize button here. And in the box, I'm just going to switch it around and have it being a five by three. And then just click on resize. Okay, so this is looking more like this can work. So now I am going to start off by adding some fruits. I'll be creating 10 flashcards guys and on each flashcard I'll have a specific fruit and the name of that fruit. So on this one, I am going to put a mango on it, the picture of a mango. So I'm going to go to elements and search for mango sticker and see what comes up okay let me just remove the sticker section because as you can see i am getting animated mangoes which i don't need so let me just keep it as the word mango and see what comes up okay so here we have some really nice ones coming up and you have the ones that are free as well as the ones that are pro since I'm using the pro version of Canva, I'll make use of the ones that are pro right now. So this is the one that I am going to work with. Okay, so now that I have the picture of the fruit, I am just going to type the word or the name of the fruit. So I'm pressing T on my keyboard to get a text box, which I'm then going to drag and then type in the word mango. Next, I am heading over to text or font and I am going to change the font style to Anton. Let me see if it's coming up. Okay, I will just need to type. Let me click on this arrow. Yeah, so here it is. So now I'm just going to drag and enlarge the word. okay so this is the first one so guys with this you have the option of you know changing the color of your words that you will use on the different flashcards or changing the background color of the flashcards i'm going to experiment by playing around with a few colors to see if i prefer a specific color for the background i think i'm going to keep this background color so now let me make some copies of this just going to click here so I can just make multiple copies so I'm just highlighting and copying so I'm highlighting and pressing CTRL C to copy then CTRL V to paste ok 
Okay, now I need to copy three more. TTRL C, T, T, R, V. So now we have nine, so I just need to make one more copy of this. And then I'll return to the pages. So now I'll just, each for each fruit that I'm adding, I'll just add the fruit and change the name. So let me head back up to page two. So the next fruit that I'm going to add here is an apple. So I'm just going to click on this and remove the mango and then I'm going to type in apple. So basically, so all of the images that I will use guys will come from elements because I want to use these uh, cartoon like these cartoon like versions of the fruit rather than the, an actual real life picture of a fruit. So this one is going to be apple. So I'm just going to type that in here. Moving down the line, the next fruit is going to be banana so let me go over and remove that mango going back to elements and searching for banana So I'm going to work with this picture. Or I think I'll change this and make it this one instead. Since it's more than one, I'll just type in bananas. So we have mango, apple, and bananas. So we have mango, apple, and bananas. So the next fruit is going to be cherry. So let me tie that in now. So let me type in cherries since we have more than one of them here. Next, I am going to search for grapes. And here we have a nice bunch of purple grapes. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. So these flash, flash so these flashcards are perfect if you are actually, you know, teaching a young child the different names of fruits and you want them to be able to associate the name with the an actual picture of the fruit then creating flashcards in canva will really help you with that because you can create your own and then basically print out 
these flashcards and just have them to use with your child so next up we're looking for pineapple so this is a nice one Bear in mind, as I said, some of the images that I'm using are available only on the pro version, but basically for all of these fruits, you should be able to find uh, an image to use that's free. Okay, the next fruit on the list is guava so that's the next one let me see if they have a picture of guavas okay I remember having these as a child um, the ones with the pink inside they are really good I think I'll use the one with the pink because this green looking one all right the pink one <laughs> I don't think this picture is that realistic but I already have it so I'm just going to work with it so guava all right so now the next fruit on the list is melon so let me type that in Let me be specific. So that's watermelon. Okay, so I'll work with this. Next up, I am going to search for strawberry. And finally, the last fruit that I'm going to add to this is orange. So here we have it guys, all 10 fruits with the appropriate picture for each fruit. So guys, as I said before, if you want to create flashcards with highlighting different fruits and the name of each fruit, then you can definitely use Canva to create those flashcards and you have the option and you have the option of decorating your flashcards as much or as little as you want. So let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know if you've tried this before, if you've used up Canva to actually create flashcards or anything like that. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll respond to you. So until my next video, I'll talk to you then. Goodbye.